kinetic theory of matter. Well, that assumes that matter is made of very small particles in constant motion, and that motion will increase if you increase the temperature, because that will break those interparticle bonds, or you could even have weaker interparticle bonds. Both of those will increase motion. Let's consider a solid. Well, solids might be because they have low temperature, which means the bonds aren't broken between the particles, or those interparticle bonds themselves are very strong, like in salt. For a gas, the opposite's true. Maybe the higher temperatures have broken those interparticle bonds, like in steam, or in air where the particles are weakly bonded anyway. So what about liquids? Uh, liquids are kind of special in the universe. Uh, you need a very narrow set of conditions, and they're quite unlikely. Phase changes in IB? Well, you're going to look at solid to liquid, and that's going to be melting. And then boiling is where the liquid turns into a gas. The reverse is condensation, gas to liquid, and then finally liquid back to solid again is freezing. They have different properties, solids, liquids, and gases. For example, the compressibility is different. And you have to learn this chart here. I'm not going to read it out. Most of it should be quite common sense. Well, we haven't talked about sublimation and deposition. So as an example, in the freezer here, this is a frost-free freezer. So how is it they get the ice out? Well, they can't just heat the, uh, can't just heat the ice. And then it would melt and it would turn into a liquid and it would go everywhere. So what they do is they get the conditions in the, in the uh, cold box just right, temperature, humidity, pressure, and the ice, the solid ice, will then turn into a gas. That is sublimation. So, uh... So shut the door, nerd!